baby. We're live, 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 all the way live. It is Wednesday. You know what that means. I'm looking good, feeling good, loving life. I hope that you can say the same tonight. We got a lot going on here, Jimmy. I'm excited for it. Let's talk a little bit about what we're going to see here, man. I haven't done it already. Let's take some time right now. Share the video. It helps us a lot if you share it. Um, I'm just going to tell you what you probably already know is happening. So this is a good time to take some time to give that video a thumbs up. Give that video a share. It helps us a lot. Uh, at this time, we're going to talk about this being what number? Uh, chapter 191. 191 times we've stood on your screen as the longest running weekly professional wrestling program in Pennsylvania today. We thank you for tuning in, as always. It's unbelievable. Uh, 191, we're getting close to that. I mean, would you ever thought, I mean, you were here for num number, number one, one, man. Yeah. Would you have ever dreamed that we'd have made it this far? Potentially, we're going to get there. I mean, I can't imagine a scenario where we're not going to get to 200. No, no, it's, uh, it's been a long journey, a crazy journey. We need to do something special. Yeah, for episode what 200. Would that be? Somebody should think of something cool and fun. But hey, let's. Uh, are we hearing noise yeah. out of that? Let's, right. let's mute that double audio. We are live here. We thank you for tuning in as always. Technical difficulties do happen. Please bear with us. What kind of weird professional setup is this now? <laughs> There's that double audio out of the picture. So let's talk about what we're going to see here tonight first. Um, we have. Um, Interviews with Magnus Knox, Eric Enders, the Ride Boys, the heavyweight champion, Chris Coleman, the classic rockers are here. Gorgeous Gregory. We're going to hear from, um, well, they're not on here, but we're going to hear from Tito Warwick. We're going to hear from the Troublemakers. We got a lot going on here tonight. Uh, then later on in our huge main event, I, I got to tell you, Jimmy, I'm excited about this one. Oh, uh, yeah? Fathers versus Sons for the first time ever in Imagine Wrestling. Are you kidding me? We're going to have the Sons. The wayward sons, in some ways, <laughs> Malachi Gage, yeah, the low life James Ross. We've talked about generational talents a lot on this show. We're gonna have two generations of talent on each uh, on each team here. It'll be very interesting to uh, see how this goes. Absolutely, very cool. And then on the other side of the ring, we will see everybody's friend. That's Lucio Devere and the good neighbor John Ross. That's a big match we got coming up um, here tonight. So then. Uh, we also are going to have a new fan of the week. We got a lot going on, but let's talk real quick about April 20th. Tickets are on sale now. If you haven't got them already, uh, I think we either have three or four VIP left. Uh, clearly, they're going to sell out. And uh, if you want those, I wouldn't wait and see if they're going to stick around and see. If you want those last three or four tickets, I'd get them orders in right now. It's going to be a hot show. It's going to be a lively crowd. Uh, we're excited. If you've been to the shows this year, you know how they've been. And you know what, Jimmy? I heard it somewhere else, but it, man, it's true. Pro wrestling's cool again. Pro wrestling's always been cool. Been cool to us, for sure. Yeah, I've never once in my life uh, called myself a sports entertainer. I'm a professional wrestler through and through, as I believe you were and still are. Technically, somewhat, uh, sure. but yeah, uh, pro wrestling's uh, back on the menu as it should be. That's good news for all of us. And uh, pro wrestling's pretty hot right now. It is pretty hot. It's you know what? Especially else? hot here at Imagine Wrestling. Couldn't be hotter. I'll tell you what. The the imagination's been spectacular. I'll tell you who else has been spectacular for us, and that's Renewal by Anderson. If you're looking for high quality windows and or patio door home investment options within your budget go ahead and contact jordan trees of renewal by anderson and his number is right there on your screen 814-330-9870 this is a great time of year uh it's probably a little less busy than it is in the fall but new windows and new doors are never never not important it's not like well we'll put this off we'll put this off if you're paying if you have an air conditioner you want to keep that cold inside too and those days are coming it's going to be hot real soon so uh and Let's let's talk about what we're talking really about. Jordan Treese, our DC Bentley, good man. Good man. He'll he, tell you a one time call, one time investment can take money off your bills forever. Yeah. Like he was saying, you know, you, you want to keep the cold in when it's hot and the uh, hot in when it's cold. Call Jordan Treese, renewal by Anderson. I'll tell you who you don't want to call is the next interview that we have right now. Let's go ahead and hear some pre recorded comments from Glenn Spector and the Troublemakers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is DC Bentley, and I am reluctantly here with the troublemakers Kane and Christopher, the big boss Glenn Spector, and Tyler Brooks, hot off a not so solid matchup with the classic rockers and Kato. I hate to ask, but I have to. Hold on, hold on. 
You need to quiet yourself. Listen, we've been down this path. We've beaten the classic rockers. So yeah, you may have gotten out there and got a sneaky win on us. But here's the thing, that's not why we're here. We told you once we were gonna come here and leave our marks and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So next month we are coming in and we challenge the Rad Boys. Get ready for the fight of your life. I hate to say this, but where do we stand with the the ongoing animosity with uh, Imagine's CEO Kato? Kid almost broke my neck. What are you going to do about that? You're supposed to be the big boss. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't worry, Brooks. Don't worry. Don't worry, kid. I got you. I take care of my kids. I take care of my kids. I'm going to make the bad man, Kato, go away. Kato! You started a war, and the thing about wars that you're going to learn is there are casualties in war, DC. You know that, right? Yes. Yeah, Yeah. there are casualties in war, Kato. So you know what? (laughs) Not only are we going to take the Imagine Tag titles off the Rad Boys, but I am coming for every one of your children. I'm going to leave a broken trail of bodies. Anyone who could ever claim that they were trained by Kato, there's a mark on your head. And you know who you can turn to? You know who you can cry to from a hospital? Well, cry to Kato, because it's all his fault. What do you think of that imagination? Big Boss, uh, critics will say, but Kato had scored the pinfall on the last matchup. What did you say? He, he scored the pinfall. What did you say? Say it again. I, I said he... Say it again. I'm going to kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. You're going to get a fire. I'll kill you and Kato. I, you know, I'm not going to respond. Glenn Spector's got a lot to say, and I have nothing to say to him. I think I feel like our business was settled back in March, but this time, uh, let's go ahead and bring in some guys who's got plenty to say about the troublemakers this weekend or this in in just ten days. It's coming quick here, guys. Uh, how how you feeling tonight? Well, I'm glad we're not over there because it's getting weird. But anyway, I don't like Glenn. I don't I don't like Glenn. He's like a cyst that just keeps growing and 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 then he's just going to pop. And then it's, there's going to be goo everywhere. Um, I'll take this from here. But besides the, the popping and gooing, uh, the growing part reminded me of uh, something. Um, happy birthday to uh, the Rad Boys biggest fan. Yeah. Andrea Anderson, right? Yeah. Not the sponsor. Not Arn Anderson's like third, fourth, fifth cousin. No, no, Jake. No. Okay. Yeah. But happy birthday! Uh, I, I was I was told that we were supposed to come out here and respond to uh, the cyst. Yeah, that, is that what you called him? Mm-hmm. The cyst and his two trainees. Well, Glenn Spector. You may have picked up a singles victory over both Jake and I, but the two of you will not be taking the Imagine Tag Team titles, and I want you to know that when you said you're coming for our heads, when you said you're coming for every single one of Kato's trainees, that we were the first two to step up, whether you challenged us or not. There's... You see right here, we're wearing Imagine Wrestling jackets. We're holding Imagine Wrestling tag team title belts. We just won our fourth tag team title to stay together as a team. And we will not let the two of you end that. We will not let your two trainees 
and some overweight Terry Funk wannabe beat us for these and embarrass us in front of our trainer. So I hope to see you too soon. Jake? Yeah. You know. I know. They know? They know. Andrea know. knows. She knows. Mm -hmm. He knows. Mm -hmm. We know yep. that the Rad Boys are in the house! Ooh, ah! So I think a uh, big difference with the way I treat my uh, quote-unquote trainees, I don't call them boys. These are men, and I'm sure as hell convinced that they'll be able to handle the troublemakers on April the 20th. Let's go ahead and bring in at this time, you know, for all of his insanity, this is a grown man right here. Let's go ahead and talk to... Uh, Magnus Knox, you got a, a big match coming up on April 20th. How are you feeling right now? I do. I have a big match, and that's all interesting and all, but you know, I'm the real deal. I can come out here and do whatever I feel like, so I'm just going to speak my mind right now. And you know what's on my mind? The guy on the other side of your mind, your friend, the Enigma Lucio Devere, the guy that comes out and does this weird thing with his tongue. Yuck, what a weirdo. But that weirdo has decided to duck me. He is a coward. You guys there, go tell your friend to quit being a coward. We were face to face. He was right here. I had him right here. And now he's going to duck me and decide not to fight me. Do you not see the potential in me? The elite athlete, the Greco all-American stud? No, there is such a long story to how I even got here. You understand the 16-year-old, the scrawny little varsity wrestler that walked into this building and wanted to train so badly? I skyrocketed right to the top. But you know what? I'm not at the top yet because I don't have any gold around my waist. So you know what? I'm a generational talent. I'm a once-in-a-lifetime athlete, but you know what I'm not? I'm not finished with the story. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to prove I'm the real deal, and I'm going to finish my story. Hmm. I feel like I've heard that before somewhere very recently. Surely uh, my next guest here will have some new information and some original thoughts. He's sort of referred to around here as Satan. I don't know that he refers to himself as that. Eric Enders, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling like in Reynoldsville, I got cheated. See, that match should have been thrown out from the start. Because what did John Ross do? What did John Ross do before he even decided to actually get into the wrestling ring? Huh? He took a shot. He had some idiot from the crowd go up to the bar and get him a shot. That can't possibly be in the rule book. You love your rule book. So from there, I was off the whole time. And he was inebriated. So that's not bad enough. Now I've got to go through this again on April 20th. And John Ross is out here trying to talk down my beliefs. Or at least talk about how we agree on things. Uh, he doesn't seem to actually understand or listen to anything that I say. So next week, John Ross, good neighbor, why don't we have ourselves a little deliberation? That's debate for you layman. Thanks. And I'll show you who's really out here to save people. No gods, no masters, just enders. I'll tell you what, that could be uh, extremely fascinated. I might be, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see that. Two very intelligent men having a debate. I'm curious to see what they're going to talk about. Let's tune in next week and find out. At this time, let's go ahead and hear from the former number one contender, Tito Warwick. Imagination, my name is Dave Brown. I'm here with Tito Warwick. And Tito, unfortunately, volume 49 didn't go your way. Your hand was initially raised, but that decision got reversed. Um, still dealing with the watch. Where do you go? You know, I, I spoke directly to the fans out there tonight. Um, I, I, I spoke my emotions, my heart, and everything I felt. And now that I've had about, I don't know, half an hour since I've came back here to really sit here and think, what is next for Tito Orich? You know, I really don't know. I can't, I can't go into Cato's office and demand a rematch. I, I... <sighs> a 
April 20th. I am going to do whatever it takes. Step by step. Piece by piece. The watch has to watch me now. I'll keep my eye on you. Look out, watch. Back to you guys. There you go. Very uh, sort of disgruntled and dismayed Tito Warwick. Certainly uh, not feeling real great about the situation, but, you know, there's only one way to get back to a heavyweight title match. That's win matches, and I think Tito Warwick can do that. Talk about guys that are winning matches lately, though. Let's go ahead and bring in a pair of team, uh, a pair of guys right now that, boy, you had a big win in, in Reynoldsville. You got a lot on your mind right now. Who wants to start this thing off? I do. Um, a lot of people know what has happened. Um, and even though I feel a little bit groggy, even though I don't remember much, the watch, a head injury isn't nothing to joke about. And uh, Malachi Gage, you said that you had to sit through another Chris Sands match. Well, you're going to get a front row seat to a classic Rockers match, and you two are better strap in to this magic carpet ride. And I'm not looking for revenge. I'm looking to get even. I'm looking for a little bit of tit. For tat. Because the classic rockers, that's where it's at. If uh, head injuries are something to joke about, the joke's on you and the punchline's going to be a pile driver. We're bringing it on the 20th. Let's go. There you go, man. Not a lot of... Uh, boy, talk about two guys that are serious and ready for a fight. That looks like... Uh, one of the matches we're really looking forward to on April the 20th, the classic rockers against the watch in a, in a big time rematch. Let's go ahead and bring in at this time, our next guest. Can't read that writing. Who's my next guest? It's well, who else would it be? My boy. How are you? Doing great, man. How are you? Good. You got a big match on April the 20th. I Heavyweight title. about the 20th right now. I just, you know how I am. You know, I'm a little bit of a hothead week after week. I have to come out here and I have to listen to Magnus Knox saying my lines. He's a generational talent. He's a once in a lifetime athlete. I feel like at a certain point, man, I got to handle this. I got to handle this at a certain point. He can't keep running his mouth like this. You understand? Why don't we have a match? You and Magnus Knox next week's right here on a Wednesday night. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm going to whoop him. I'm going to whoop him. You know who else I'm going to whoop? Chris Coleman on April 20th. Chris, it seems like you feel like I never beat you fair and square. And I took a lot of shortcuts in my time here as champion. That's true. But at least I have one over you because you've never beaten me, period. A couple months ago, I took everything you had. That low life came in and he gave me the low blow. And that ref counted to three, but my shoulder was up. I kicked out. You saw it. There's nothing I can do about that. What happened, happened. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube, sweetheart. I know this match, you're going to beat me up. I'm not saying that you're not. But I'm going to take the punches to the head. I'm going to take the elbows. I'm going to take the Saido. I'm going to take the Black Hole Slam. I'm going to take the Davy Boy. Hell, James Ross might come in there and give me another low blow. I'm going to take that too, sweetheart. And I'm going to keep coming after you. I'm going to fight till I draw my last breath, sweetheart. And at a certain point, you're going to get frustrated and I'm going to hit the drop dead gorgeous DDT and I'll take back the title that I never lost. I'm not a betting man, but if I was going to put money down, it'd be on gorgeous Gregory on April the 20th. Tell you what, I always put money down on is the imagination and our fans. And this is my favorite segment that we do. Let's go ahead and right now present our newest fan of the week.
Imagine, nation, I have asked for this time to reply to gorgeous Gregory. Gregory, you said I didn't beat you in a fair fight, and you haven't had a fair fight. Well, anyone who goes into a fight thinking it is going to be fair is dumber than they look. There is no such thing as a fair fight, and a fight is precisely what I'm going to bring to you. So I hope what you said is true and that you are ready to be punched in the head and kicked and elbowed and dropped on your head because that is precisely what I intend to do with you. And you couldn't, can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. That's quite clever. But after Saturday, April the 20th, you won't need it. That is until the dentist gets the impressions back for your dentures. And as far as betting men go, perhaps they should save their money and not lose it betting on you. So, April 20th, imagination. We'll be seeing hey, you. You know, I, uh... What's, what's the matter? You're not chuckling now. I, well... You thought what I said was funny last week. You don't think it's funny anymore? I think it's, I think it's a little ridiculous. Um, you know, we've sort of had an unspoken rule around here for a long time that um, all this, all this, you know, a long time ago, but I trained you how to do this too. Mm. And all these guys here have paid me the respect of not jumping me, not attacking me from behind. My, you know, you want to spring a trap. You like to spring a trap on a guy like, like Greg or uh, Tito or me last week. And... Man, these traps, you think you're so clever. You slow down your speech. But to me, you're still that same Chris Coleman. At first, I was going to come in here and say, you know what? This isn't you. This isn't you. I know this isn't you. You're not the guy that would have attacked me like you did. But you know, the more I think about it, God, man, I I told myself I wasn't going to hit you. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Ah! Oh! Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and come on back over here. Jimmy, where you at, my man? We had a little bit of a uh, kerfuffle there. I got choked a little bit. I'm going to need you to talk for a second. I'll get a drink. Sorry about that. Sorry, we're a little unprepared there. Things get a little off the rails sometimes. You know how it goes. Ken needs another second here. We thank you for tuning in, as always, yeah, even into this I chaos. Need another second, James. Thank you, James. I don't know, you it's called me Ken. Nobody sorry. called me Ken. I'm sorry. My mom. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's talk about let's talk about renewal by Anderson. <clears throat> hey, yeah, uh, can you do me a favor? Read this one. Yeah, I got you, brother. If you're looking for high-quality window or patio door home investment option within your budget, contact Jordan Treese of Renewal by Anderson at 814-330-9870 or visit us at the showroom today located at 487 Municipal Drive in Duncansville, 16635. As for Jordan, don't forget to ask for monthly promotions. Call our guy DC Bentley. Like I said earlier, a one-time investment that will save you money forever. Help keep the cold in when it's hot and help keep the hot in when it's cold. Change your windows 
insulate your home, invest in your family with Renewal by Anderson. We thank our sponsors. I'll tell you what, I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Uh, we got a great audience watching tonight, and we do appreciate you guys. We've got a lot of people commenting. If you haven't done your comments already, man, uh, this is one of my favorite things. I mean, I love the, the fan of the week. One of the first things I do when this closed show ends is I like to go through and read all the comments because you guys are always amazing. You guys are always fun, uh, always <clears throat> you guys are always supportive, and uh, man, that means a lot to me. So let's go ahead and uh, last thing: if you haven't done it already, April twentieth is only ten days away. Uh, we are down to two now. We sold two more tickets <clears throat> this evening, so we're down to two more VIP tickets. Uh, if you want those, I would get online and get those ordered right now. Uh, of course, there'll still be plenty of general admission. We will pack people in like we did last month, like sardines if we need to. Um, what a great environment to be part of back in March. What what happened in March? I forget. Did you and me and Rocker? Something happened. I, I forget. It was a fun night, though. I'll say that. And... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, man. If you haven't done it, make sure you subscribe. Give the thumbs up. That's enough talking for tonight. People tune in for what? Uh, pro wrestling. And that's what we're going to present with you right now. Let's go ahead and head to the ring. First, he is the current reigning and defending Imagine Live champion. He is the low life James Ross. With a sneer on his face and a chip on his shoulder, James Ross knows he has the goods. His partner tonight, he is one half of the watch. He is uh, the sideshow psycho, Malachi Gage. Completely unstable, but very much able. Malachi Gage could be heavyweight champion on any given night. They are, of course, two, one half, two fourths of a. Uh, the group collectively known as The Watch, their opponent tonight. First, he is everyone's neighbor. He, in fact, is a good neighbor, John Ross. Unorthodox as he is, this man knows how to fight. His partner, he is from the other side of your mind. And in fact, is everyone's friend. He is Lucio Devere. Two-time All-American, either side of your mind, University. Lucio Devere had that jersey retired. There you go. What? Look at John Ross's face paint. He's like Road Warrior Dork. Hey! <laughs> okay. I could have lived without that, that part of it right there. <laughs> Being honest, I could have lived without that. <laughs> oh, no. The, these wayward sons, as I like to call them earlier, have attacked their individual fathers. For those of you not in the know, of course, James Ross, the son of John Ross, Malachi Gage, the son of Lucio DeVere. And we're paired off right now, fathers and sons. The old Drew, they held on. do si do Big reverse atomic. Got his shades of the Rock and Roll Express here. Sets them up again. There they go. Big atomic drops. And they run, they run oh my. each other. Oh, this could be what we want to see. These kids deserve this. You know, if these fathers would have did this 15 years ago, we may not have had these problems right now, to be perfectly honest. That program Looking needed to see these two put over a knee. I wish, I wish they'd have stayed in there for that. What a... What a pair of jerks the sideshow psycho and the low life are. Get in the ring and fight. The the younger generation powders out to the outside of the ring. They're uh they're gonna regroup here. Try to re strategize, hopefully, and uh, get back in there. You know. Referee John Williams deep into an eight count here. Uh, oddly enough, you know, John Ross and Lucio DeVere sort of look like a team. They got this red and black going on. <laughs> Beautifully done. They tried to get the jump on John Ross. He had none of it. He got his son well scouted there. Well, well, uh, well boy scouted, I would wow, say. Wow, that was incredible. Big chop there from Lucio DeVere to James Ross. You know, John Ross has said he wouldn't hit his son. I'll be curious to see if that holds up throughout the night. He, he sort of pushed on his rear end and shoved him the whole way across the ring. It was uh, an interesting dynamic that I've never seen. It was before. kind of metaphoric for his uh, parenting strategy of not being afraid to put his foot on his son's ass and give him a nudge if he needs it. Oh, 
a big smack in the arse for, for James Ross. James Ross has to be not be enjoying any of this. Someone John. who usually disrespects others now being disrespected here. John Williams, of course, out of position as per usual. On the uh, John Williams, not the most mobile guy. Beautiful senton splash. How do you feel about that, Kato? Uh, you know, it's my least favorite move in wrestling. I hate it. Well, it didn't um, win. It did not win. I would tell you this much. If there had been a cheeseburger laying on that mat, John Williams would have got there much quicker. Oh, absolutely. Man cheeseburgers. As you can see. He once sold his soul for a double cheeseburger. As you can see, John Williams built very much like the penguin from Batman Returns. <laughs> Down by Lucio Devere. Very impressive after that brutal kick to the clavicle there laid on just a second earlier. I, I'll tell you, to this point, I really got to respect the path that Lucio Devere and John Ross are taking here. You know, they're not being overly abusive to their kids or just out wrestling, even though these two, uh, we call them kids, but they're grown men, Malachi Gage and James Ross. I'm sure that feels like a grown man's elbow bouncing off the side of his head. Oh, oh John Williams. Referee. And come on, he put him down by the by the shark fin. Ah, uh, two hands full of dorsal fin there. John Ross saying he should spank John Williams. He's so furious, that paint's starting to peel off John Ross there. Big knee right in the middle of the back in an area where it's really hard to... Uh, Work out a knot, you know, a lower back can cause a lot of pain, but the middle of the back is absolutely devastating. It's uh, not a good spot to take a knee. And beautifully done by James Ross with that forearm to, right to the temple. Beautifully done for sure. These two young men, I'll try not to call them kids, even though I'm old enough to myself to be their father, I'll say that they are incredibly devious yet incredibly skilled in that ring. Yeah, once they got the upper hand here, they're doing a great job of cutting the ring, not just in half, but almost into a fourth, not letting him out of the, out of the corner there. Lucio Devere making little to no ground so far. A great shot right there. You see the pain in Lucio Devere's eyes, like you said, right between the shoulder blades. What real bad area, that back. There it is again. They have uh, this duo. Of course, neither one of them are, are out of the realm of their expertise when they're in a tag team. Both these guys, not together, but both these guys, former tag team champions here at Imagine Wrestling, of course. One of the most decorated tag teams in history, The Watch, uh, Malachi Gage. And then uh, former tag team champion, Ross and Son, with James Ross. Now, of course, we're talking about The Watch, and I know you, if you can look at it critically and put your own feelings aside, you got to admit, The Watch is a hell of a team. They really are. Uh, they took me and Chris Sands to the limit in Reynoldsville, but unfortunately weren't able to secure the victory like we were. Uh, I'm very experienced with all four members in this tag match. There's no slouch on this. My neighbor Johnny is uh, very unorthodox. One of the toughest fighters I've ever been in the ring with. Same with his son, jo uh, James Ross. Absolutely. I mean, these are very, very capable fighters. You know, we talk about John Ross. I mean, this is a guy, military-trained fighter. This is a legitimate tough guy, a guy who served our country uh, overseas. And uh, I know he doesn't like to talk about it too much, but this is a legitimate, strong-willed, strong-bodied uh, man who can fight with the best of them. Yes, and has. He's uh, he's seen some stuff, and uh, he's he never backs down. John Ross. I've had many, many wars with that man. I respect him greatly. He doesn't like to say. He doesn't like to admit it, but the dude is a legitimate American hero. He he legitimately is. Ah. Uh, Outside of his quirkiness and all of his oddness, uh, very, very astute student of the game, John Ross likes himself some wrestling and knows how to do it. Absolutely. John Ross loves wrestling. He's constantly bringing new ideas and trying new things, and that's what makes him difficult to combat. Well, he just watched Malachi Gage execute a move with James Ross that he used to execute with his son, and he's taken exception to it. He is furious on that apron. Wound up tonight, man. We've seen uh, John Ross lose his mind in the past and get very angry, very hard to control when he gets that way. So close. John is so close. James seems to be just taunting his father. And there you oh, go. Are you kidding me? Popped his. 
Oh, John, uh, John, Ross. John Williams. Oh, behind John Williams' back. John Russ, to his own detriment, being a bit of a hothead tonight. Yeah, uh, John Williams having trouble keeping control in here. You know, we haven't talked about the toughness of Lucio Devere, man. This guy has taken an incredible beating and continues to rise up, continues to pull himself up by the rope, do whatever it takes. This, you know, was formerly called a journeyman. I don't think you can call him a journeyman. He is a winner. He's a guy who's winning matches and getting to where he needs to. Potentially a guy who could get a heavyweight title shot in the future if he can continue with winning ways. Absolutely. A little bit different of a, of a program here on Wednesday night without the friends of Lucio here to hold him up. Big there double DDT! Hey, this could be the opening! That's the same style of DDT that concussed Chris Sands last Saturday. This could be it. If he can find a way to get to that corner, get that tag, the entire dynamic of this tag team match could change right now. Uh, unable to get there. He needs a Hail Mary pass right now if he's going to get there. Shuts him off. Tag by John to John Ross. Ducks the clothesline. Knee in the guts. Both men in each other. Oh, battering ram into the buckle. Beautifully done. done. Gut wrench. Gut buster. Unorthodox offense, but he, John Ross is on fire right now. He takes his sleeve off. Uh, what is Eric Enders doing out here? Come on. Where did you get that? He's took. Eric Enders in an Argyle sweater. Oh, no, not like this. Yeah, come on, not like this. Oh, that's ridiculous. We talk about men being mischievous. We talk about guys doing dirty tricks. Oh, Eric Enders is evil. We had a beautiful match going there, and this guy came out, caused a distraction. That is, that is heart wrenching. How's a how's a group of jerks become bigger jerks? Yeah, at Eric Andrews to the group. Gee, that's how. That, that's that's off. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's wrap these things up. I'll be your friend anytime. John Ross. I don't know if we're, we picked that up or not, but John. John Ross offered to be a friend of Lucio Devere anytime. That was a, a nice moment there. Uh, you know, next week we'll be back here again next Wednesday night. We've already announced the match. The first time we've done that in a while. The match will be um, Magnus Knox, the guy who likes to call himself a once-in-a-lifetime athlete and a generational talent. He'll be going one-on-one -on -one with Gorgeous Gregory, who, uh, boy, just three days before heavyweight title. It's, a, it's an interesting dynamic heavyweight title match so let's let's check that out next wednesday i haven't got a chance to do this in a long time and i'm really excited to do this to wrap up the show tonight um you know i always like to remind people before that you know life can be very difficult life can be a struggle there are times when we're faced with things that seem so difficult to navigate and such steep hills to climb and if you feel that way it is important for you to take some time, talk to somebody, talk to a friend, talk to a family member, talk to a professional if you need to, do whatever you need to, to find the help and the resolution that you need. The hole that would be created by the loss of you is a hole that could never be filled. When things feel dark, there's a light out there. Sometimes we just got to search for it. I can tell you that we love you. We need you here as part of the imagination, as part of our family, part of our friends, part of who we are. It's all of us together. We are the imagination. And without you, there's a hole that can't be filled. We love you. We can't wait to see you next Wednesday night. Stay strong, my friends. Be kind.